We start tonight with a crowded race for the U.S. House of Representatives. With Republican Congressman Larry Bouchon out, several candidates are hoping to represent Indiana's 8th District. Tonight we hear from a political science professor to break down the race, which features feelings of deja vu. Eyewitness News' Cody Bailey has more from your local election headquarters. Cody. Jessica Brandon, the filing deadline has come and gone, and the field sits at 13 in the race for the 8th District. That includes some fresh faces, familiar names, and one candidate fighting to take back the seat he lost 17 years ago. For the first time since 2011, a new face will represent Indiana's 8th District. With Congressman Larry Bouchon stepping away from politics, University of Evansville political science professor Dr. Robert Dyan says it's a wide open race. So you would expect that this seat probably still favors the Republicans. But gosh, you take Larry Bouchon out of the mix and it becomes a much more interesting and unpredictable race on both sides. It is also a crowded race with a field of four Democrats and a total of nine Republicans. That list includes familiar names, including Mark Mesmer and John Hostetler, vying to reclaim the seat he first won 30 years ago. It's a little bit un, uh, of a surprise because John Hostetler seemed to be out of the picture. I mean, he's not been in evidence for a very long time. He's somebody that people know. Uh, he's somebody who knows the district and has experience. On the other hand, my goodness, 17 years is a long time. Uh, and so there are a lot of people in the 8th District who don't remember him, don't know him, don't have a history of voting for him. Hostetler held the 8th District seat from 1995 to 2007. Dian says it's not uncommon for a former politician to jump back onto the scene, but says Hostetler's decision adds another layer of uncertainty. I think the fact that a former congressman jumps in the race makes it a little more complicated, a little tougher of a decision for people to make. Dian says it is unclear if a frontrunner will emerge, saying voters have to decide decide what's in the best interest of their party. They're going to have to think hard about whether they want to go with a Mesmer or a Kavanaugh or a, a Hostetler. I mean, there's a lot of uh, uh, Moss, Dr. Moss. There's a lot of choices. Diane ex also expects low turnout for the primary, but says another open race for Indiana's governor could increase turnout and spill over into the race for the 8th District seat. Indiana's primary election day is on Tuesday, May 7th.